Okay, kids, you know this is the parallel bar, and we have four stations that in one way or another address upper body strength. The parallel bars here, they really involve the wrist, lower arms, upper arms, the shoulder, and actually, do you want your feet, while you're moving down with your hands, do you want your feet to swing to the outside? No. But there's a natural tendency for the body to want to do that. What muscles in the middle of your body keep your feet from swinging while you're doing this, do you know? Yeah, it's those tummy muscles again. And that's not the main muscle that's used, but it's a big one. This is also one of the most dangerous ones because if a kid is swinging a little and one arm collapses, they tend to fall at an and then the shoulder or a head can hit. So you have to be real careful and keep yourself in. Now what I'd like is for two or three of you to come up to this high end, just two or three of you that know you can do this, come up here. I'm gonna have you do just kind of a simple thing. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go out into the middle, push yourself up and hold yourself there for about two seconds, then drop down and walk out. Go out to the middle of here. Up, drop, out. Next person, that's it, he walks out. Go out to the middle to do it. Up, go ahead, next person. Now there's no swinging because you're not moving yet. Good enough, okay, now, this time what I want you to do, I want you to go out to about the middle, go up, and then I want you to take about three or four steps, and I want the rest of you to kind of watch what do their legs do when they start moving. And let's see, if their legs move a lot, what isn't working hard enough? Tummy muscles. Okay, go out to the middle, take three or four steps. Let's watch the legs. Oh, she's keeping them in, they do want to swing. Good enough, drop down. Next person, up. Oh, he's keeping his look nice. Tummy muscles are working, those legs do want to swing. Next. Good, that's a good lead up. Now, I'd like two or three that this time you're gonna go out to the middle and you're gonna go backwards two or three steps. Who would like to try that? Let's get a different group. If you're different, let those people go. If, if, if you don't think you can do it, we'll use the same people again. This is one of the harder ones. Okay, he goes out to the middle, he goes up and he's coming backwards. Yeah. Nice, drop and walk out to the front there. Out to the middle. Backwards. Oh. <laughs> Backwards, you gotta go uphill. Oh yeah, it's a little tougher, isn't it? Good enough. Next person. Backwards. Excellent. Next person. Good, we're gonna do one more before we go into a full rep. Okay, come back again. This time, I want you to go out, and once you're there, I want you to see if you can tighten your tummy muscles, and you can bring your legs up so that they're kind of level, and see if you can hold them there. It's very difficult. But you're just gonna go up, and then come up into what we kind of call an L position. If you think you can do it, go out to the middle and give it a try. Bring those up. Hold, 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 hold. That's excellent. Really tough. She's gonna give it a try. Brings them up. Hold, hold, hold. We're getting more to ninja level here. Okay, down. It's a tummy tough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go back. That's excellent. High level. That's high level. Hold, hold, oh, it's wonderful. Good job, okay. You wanna try it? Oh, here we go. L level. Oh, excellent. Okay, now let's try actually a rep here. Kids, when you come on, you're gonna get on right up here at the top. We want you to go all the way down, and then when you get to the bottom, let's imagine there's a little line here. When you get to the bottom, we want you to swing off 
land on both feet at the same time. Do we want you to start your swing from right here? No, we'd like you to get close. What if you get tired on the way down? We allow people to rest, and if you're tired, you can just swing up. If you're tired, you don't go to the ground, you swing up and you rest your feet for about eight seconds or less, and then you keep going and try to swing off. We have somebody that hasn't been on this yet. Okay, here we go. Now, should the person get tired, they can swing up and rest on it. Close, close, they want to land with both feet when they land. Okay, you can swing off. Perfect, that's the way to do it. See how those feet want to swing? Now, he got tired and he collapsed, and if he could have, if you feel that coming, you want to swing up and rest. Try it again. And you do your rest up on top. Swing up and sit on your patootie up there. Okay, let's go next. Okay, very good example. When you try to go extra fast, you tend to fall much harder on this. This is not a go fast one. Go a little slower, and if you get tired, swing up and rest. You can tell one arm or the other will be sending a message, I'm getting really tired. Go ahead and swing up and rest. Swing your feet up up on the top of the bar someplace. Swing them on a bar. <laughs> That's okay. That's where... It's... Okay, another person going down. Going down. It tends to be a little easier going down. Going to swing off on both feet. Can any of you start at the bottom and come up backwards? Do I have anybody that can start at the bottom and work their way? I oh, know. Not sure. Go give it a try. Yeah, give it a try. See how far you can go. Okay, you're starting. Here he comes. He's trying it. Up and he's coming up. Oh boy. Now you're fighting gravity instead of having gravity help you come down. 